Hey YouTube, what's happening? I just woke up. Uh, it's my day one of low carbs. Yesterday was my high carb day uh, and I really enjoyed it. I had chocolate rice cakes, um, I had my oats, I had my whole grain tortillas. Uh, I really look forward to my um, high carb days every four days. Uh, my body feels a lot better. My abs are actually looking a lot better as well than they did yesterday. Uh, because the day before, I was actually a little bit sick. Uh, I didn't feel very well. Um, it's winter here in Australia, actually. And yeah, it's not the best season for staying healthy, but you know, you gotta get it done. If your goal is to get shredded in winter, uh, which is usually the best time to do it, um, then you just gotta do it no matter what. Um, but one thing I'm really surprised at is I haven't really gotten much cravings for food yet. So I'm about 10% body fat um, right now. And I'm really shocked, like I haven't had any cravings, um, I'm a big chocolate guy, I, ha I haven't had any cravings for chocolate or sweets or anything like that, which is really good and I'm really wondering like when is it going to happen. Um, I don't think it's going to happen when I get close to 8% body fat, um, but I just got to wait and see I guess. Um, I'm wondering, am I really human? That's the thing. Am I really human or am I a robot? And the other thing I'm due for today is a haircut as well. Uh, I need to get that aesthetic haircut because my hair grows ridiculously fast as well. Um, I think the leaner I get, the faster my hair grows, which is quite ridiculous. Um, as I gotta, I gotta get a haircut every like four weeks in order to keep to keep my hair in shape. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get that done today. This is my shredding salad bowl. Um, there's a lot of things that you might not be able to see, uh, such as the tuna underneath. So I've got a can of tuna in there. Uh, I've got uh, 70 grams of ham, uh, some lean honey ham, and the other things are tomato and cucumbers, which I always have with um, in pretty much every single one of my diets. Uh, as I love tomato and cucumbers, they've uh, they've got low calories and low carbs as well, so they really fill you up without wasting too much calories. Uh, and just growing up, I've, uh, I've always been a fan of salads uh, with tomatoes and cucumbers, and I really love them as well. Um, so anyways, we got the avocado in there as well, which you can see, uh, for some healthy fats. Uh, we've got, we've got, we actually got some English gherkins in there, uh, which give it a nice flavor as well, nice and sour. But make sure not to buy the sweet spiced uh, version of the gherkins because they do have um, high sugar and high carbs as well. And on your low carb days, you want to eliminate as much of the carbs as possible. Uh, you really want to deplete. Um, so anyways, uh, I always use sriracha sauce as well on the top. Uh, for that extra chili flavor and I find that um, it increases my metabolism just slightly uh, Which is always known to be the case with um, with any spicy foods uh, And I really do enjoy the flavor. It goes quite well. I've also got two slices of bacon in there uh, Which give it some extra fats and extra protein as well And I mean who doesn't love bacon in their diet? Bacon just tastes really good and it doesn't feel like it's a it's a diet altogether. It makes your cravings uh, just go away, and it makes you enjoy the diet, which is a key to any successful cut. I just got my hair cut. Uh, it's looking pretty decent. It seems like every time I tell them to just take off a little bit off the top, they end up taking like 80% off my hair. Um, but that's okay. I'm an easygoing guy, and that's what I told them as well. Uh, but yeah, every time I go, they just chop off like most of my hair. Um, all good though. Today was an interesting day for me. Uh, in the morning I woke up, I felt a little bit flat. Uh, in fact, I felt very, very flat, even though I had a high carb day yesterday. And I was just uh, wondering, like, maybe um, I didn't carb up enough. I had 150 grams of carbs yesterday. Um, so I woke up, felt quite flat in the morning. Felt even more flat before I got my hair cut, so I was walking there. I felt extremely flat, like you know that feeling where your clothes don't fit that well, your t-shirt feels really loose and stuff. And usually it happens to me when I get get to about 10% body fat. And all the natural bodybuilders and lifters out there, they would know exactly what I mean. Um, but yeah, so I felt extremely flat. Um, I got, got back after my haircut and I did a shoulder workout. So I got a nice shoulder workout in there just 
you know, just got in there and killed it. And then after that, I felt the opposite. I felt really full, really pumped, and actually bloated. Um, so it seemed to me like all the carbs that I had yesterday, uh, they kind of um, showed after the workout as my body was quite, um, quite full, quite pumped, but a little bit bloated. Um, but that's okay, usually the first day after your high, a high carb day, uh, you might get that feeling. Um, the first and the second day, um, the second day will start to wear off. Um, and then by the third day, you'll actually reach ketosis, uh, in which um, you're starting to burn fat for fuel. And in my program, that's exactly the day where I burn most of the fat. Um, I do get uh, mood swings a little bit because um, in that state you really low on carbs and your mood swings just explode. Um, you don't even have to um, be on steroids to experience that. Like even um, the diet itself can really mess up with your head as well. Um, being in a very low carb state, you know your mood swings will just go through the roof.